so I did it. I was on 395, 55 miles an hour, fifth gear. I don't do anything crazy, but I did it successfully and safely, and it was amazing. And this whole time, the bike was my friend. You know, the Scout has a really manageable throttle. It can get you into trouble if you're foolish. And I successfully learned how to ride a motorcycle on an Indian Scout. And I think I got that motorcycle in July of 2019. And uh, over the next several months, I put 5,600 miles on that bike and rode every chance I got. For uh, several weeks, I was commuting downtown DC on it in the winter. So you might be asking yourself, well, why are you on a Chieftain if you love that motorcycle so much? Well, unfortunately, I have a herniated disc in my neck. I've had it forever. And the seating position on the Scout is quite a bit more forward than what you're seeing here now. And by September, I did my first ride down to uh, Skyline Drive, which is beautiful. And I think I was on my motorcycle for like 10 hours. You know, I stopped plenty, of course. You gotta take your pictures and all that. And by the time I got home, that herniated disc was flared up and I was in serious pain. And whatever I did to myself, I'm still suffering from it today. I have to lean forward on a bike for any prolonged period of time it basically creates a ton of pain in my shoulder which isn't any fun anyways long story short I did what I could to try and make the scout more comfortable because as it turns out the riding I like to do the best was touring riding you know on your bike all day lots of miles seeing the countryside that's what I love doing and the longer I rode, the harder it became because of the pain. So I put on the reduced reach handlebars, bring them back a couple inches. I got a Mustang seat with a backrest, which I hope would, would help me sit up straighter. And ultimately, I didn't like any of that. It just changed the characteristics of, the, of riding the motorcycle. You know, and the Mustang seat was a lot bigger than the stock seat. And instead of being in the motorcycle, you were sitting smack dab on top of it. it just wasn't, wasn't a pleasant experience. And I slowly but surely came to the realization that if I was going to continue riding the way that I like to ride, I was going to need a new motorcycle. It was really upsetting because I love my Scout. I absolutely loved it. But it was either that or stop riding, basically, or only ride really short rides, which that, that doesn't do it for me. Once I get on my motorcycle, I got to be out there. So I decided I need something with a more upright seating position. And in looking for touring bikes, which is pretty much what you're talking about, I figured I might as well get all the creature comforts, cruise control, etc. And the motorcycles that I did research on and that had my attention were the new 2020 Indian Challenger, 2020 Indian Springfield, the Indian Chieftain, and the BMW K1600B which I've heard people say it's not really like riding a motorcycle it's like riding a car thing goes in reverse but it's a sweet looking bike <laughs> I think it looks great 
and I've never actually seen a bad review. So off I went back to MOD because MOD has all of them. Oh, and I would say that the one class of bike I studied up on in mixed for adventure bikes. I mean, I know they're very popular. People rave about them. I mean, one of my favorite YouTubers is Fast Eddie and Moto Jitsu. And when I started watching his videos, he was on a BMW adventure bike and it was awesome on it. They just don't do it for me. I think they're hideous. They don't look like fun. <laughs> they look mean. <laughs> Anyways, they don't get me excited, so I said, that's that. So I went back to MOD a number of times just to sit on the bikes, look at the bikes, pester the salespeople with questions. Really, more ergonomic questions than mechanical questions. I mean, to be honest, I mean, I was looking at bikes that were 800 pounds plus, big, heavy bikes, much bigger engines than the Scout, but not as fast as the Scout. The Scout has 100 horsepower, 72 pound feet of torque. It will beat this bike off the line. It'll be, this bike at speed when you're in fifth gear and you give it some gas, the Scout's gonna outperform this motorcycle. This has a lot more torque, you feel it. The torque is a little different. One thing to know about me, I'm not mechanically inclined. You're not gonna catch me talking about the mechanics of a motorcycle and actually knowing what the heck I'm talking about. And that's okay. I mean, I can't even change the oil on this. I can ride it, and that's about it. And the things that I share with you about riding a motorcycle is just about riding. You know, I, I can barely explain the difference between torque and horsepower. Anyways, that's all the size of the point. We'll get to all that later. Because <laughs> there's always a later. I have more batteries, I promise. So, I started with a 2019 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. Actually, the motorcycle I'm on right now. 